Okay, I'm at rehearsals for a fantastic new show that is coming to the King's Lean Court Exchange. You are going to love it. And more importantly, when you go to see Avenue Q, you are going to love my new best friend, Nikki. Say hello, Nikki! Hey, how are you? What a dude. How are you today, Nikki? I'm, I'm going to shake you by the hand. Can you shake my hand? Yeah. Absolute pleasure to meet you. So, first of all, how does it feel to be here in London today where all the rehearsals are going on? It's great to be in London. I like being over here in the UK and being um, getting to see all you guys have weird buses and taxis and all that kind of thing. I like seeing it, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of hustle and bustle here. Yeah. Lots of TV cameras sure. and microphones. Does that make you feel a little bit shy? Or well, you... I feel a bit underdressed, I guess, <laughs> for, for TV and things, but yeah. No, you, you, you're looking great. So tell me a little bit about Avenue Q and how did you get the part in such a great show? Well, I mean, Avenue Q is... I suppose a loving parody of uh, maybe Sesame Street. So I think uh, people would have seen characters like myself, perhaps um, on a TV show when they were younger, maybe. Um, so yeah, we and I guess I fit the bill of looking like one of those characters. Yeah, you're brilliant. And tell me about some of the other people in the show. Did you get on with them all? Are there any anybody in the show that you don't like so much? Uh, no, I kind of get on with everybody, but. Uh, there are, we got, uh, I live with Rod, who is um, my roommate, and we get uh, Princeton, who moves to the street. He's brand new here, kind of trying to figure his life out. Kate Monster lives downstairs, and yeah, it's all good. We all, we're all friendly on the street. We support each other. I've heard, though, on the quiet, that you're a little bit of a lazy son, so is this right? Uh, well, I don't know where you've heard that, but uh, no, I guess I do. I, I like a bit of a, I like, I like a takeaway, maybe I don't clear up after myself, and you know, I have been... <laughs> yeah, I've been wearing this for a little while. <laughs> but, uh, and you don't owe anyone any money at the moment? Because I have been talking to Rod and he says you um, might owe him some money. Um, well, yeah, I, I guess I may have borrowed a couple bucks for, you know, for some for some food or maybe to see a movie, that kind of thing. Um, I probably owe him some rent too. Okay, well I've got no money so it's not worth sponging off me. Okay, oh, just well, get back clear. So tell me a little bit more then about Adam UQ. If people come to watch you in the theatre at the Kingston Court yeah. Exchange, what are they going to see? They are going to see um, characters that they may recognise or that they are familiar with, and they will see it in a format that's like a like kids entertainment, I guess. It's but it's not for kids. Don't 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 bring the children. Um, it's it's uh, is it a bit rude? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Perhaps you wouldn't expect some of the the profanity to come from us that that you hear. So despite the the outer image, definitely not for kids. No. <laughs> no, don't bring the kids. We won't bring the kids. We, we're pretty sure we won't. So, so tell me also a little bit about some of the other guys that we'll meet. Um, well, you'll meet uh, Princeton, who comes to the street looking for his um, looking for his purpose in life. He's a little bit lost. You'll meet um, Lucy, um, who sings at the bar downstairs, the the around the clock cafe. She um, she's a she's a pretty girl. She's really pretty. Um, and there's Kate Monster, she's a teacher, she lives downstairs, and you've got Trekkie, who lives, uh, lives in the apartment above us. But your best mate is Rod. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, are you a little bit worried about Rod at the moment? Yeah, I, well, between you and I, I, I think he's a little bit troubled. Really? Yeah, he's got, he's got a bit of a secret that's causing him some problems. And yeah. will we ever learn this secret, do you think? Well, you'll have to come. You'll have to come to find yeah. out. Yeah, tickets at the Kings Lynn Corn Exchange, and we're giving them away as well. I've got to ask, because it's not only Kings Lynn you're coming to, you've been travelling all over the place. Where have you yeah, been? We're going, you been? Well, we're going up and down the country. We're doing around London, we're going to Wales, where I've never been. I'm never been to Wales? Wales. Oh. Wow, I've been there once. You'll love it. Why? Yeah, Good. Love it, yeah. We're going to Wales, we go up to Scotland, we go, uh... Gosh, we go all around like the South Coast as well, yeah. Wow, well there's some great places to see when you come to Kings Lynn. Do you like the beach? I do. Yeah, we can go to Hunstanton. Hunstanton? Hunstanton, yes. Hunstanton. Although the locals call it Hunston. Hunston. So if you call it Hunston, okay. you'll fit right in. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Hunston. Hunston. Great. Fantastic. So we'll see you soon, yeah? Yeah. It's definitely. a deal. Alright, make sure you pay him back that money. Uh, all right. Okay. I'll have words. I'll ask Rob. <laughs> I will. Yeah, that was a nervous laugh, wasn't yeah, it? Well, you know. <laughs> Alright then. Let's give everyone a wave. Goodbye. Bye.